go. So a lot of you have already joined your organization on the house, so you know how to log in and access it. For, for some of those who are new advisors and probably don't know, uh, you can easily use Wheelhouse through the Time Lord uh, Student Organization's Wheelhouse page. Just click on Wheelhouse and it'll pop right up. Um, for you would need to go in and add yourself to their organization. So, uh, for instance, I'll click on Agony Crew, for example, where it says join organization. You have to join that organization, and then they have to, the a primary contact for this organization is Sam Crenshaw, and he'll go in and, and add you and make you the advisor of the organization. And that will give you access to uh, the club event forms, finance forms, like uh, purchase requests or funding requests where you can go in and approve all of those things. Before an organization can have an event or, or come and check out our credit card, uh, everything has to be approved by you. And one of the ways you can uh, go to see what needs to be approved is by uh, clicking right here, and it says review. So the, I, right now I'm saying I have 142 items that needs to be reviewed. Uh, these are events and activities from past years or, or events and activities from this year. So every organization that you advise, you will have, it will pop up in your review. This is for events only though. Only events. For finance, you will have to go in and access that and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll, I'll click on review. There we go. And these are my events that I need to view or go in and approve in order for my organization to uh, have this event. So I'll just I just approved that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that like two days so ago. So once you go in, it'll, it'll ask for your approval, but you can actually go in and view the entire uh, submission to see when, when, when Joe talks about those uh, risks. Uh, you can go in and look at it to make sure, hey, that uh, everything's right, the travel, they have enough drivers and things like that before you actually approve it. So if you have questions, uh, you can shoot them an email or a text and let them know, hey, uh, can you change something on this event form for me before you approve it? And you can go back and verify to make sure that they've changed it because once it comes to our office, we'll go in and review it and we'll probably we can see all of the questions that you have you left comments at the bottom of each event. We can see all of those comments and, and we can verify to make sure they made the changes that you asked them to make. And sometimes it's not even necessary for them to actually go in and change it. If y'all are having this conversation in the comments section and you ask a question and we can see that they have followed up and given you a solid answer, they don't necessarily have to make a change in the form because when when we go back and look at that event, if something were to occur, we can go back and we'll see all those comments attached as well. So, um, so they don't, you know, I think it, it's probably best to have those conversations not in an email or a phone or a text message. It's best to have it right there on that page um, because then we can see that, that, that those things have been considered. You want to adopt. So, I mean, keeping it with the event is the best way, whereas I don't actually have my email every so often. Uh, so for finance, you will not get a notification to go in and approve anything on the finance side. You would need to go to the organization page, and there are subtitles. Uh, click on finance, and in fin finance, you can see purchase requests or funding requests, and you can easily go in, click on any one of these, go in and approve it as, as their advisor. Uh, but for any event request, you will probably get a notification. Uh, that will remind you, hey, there's been an event submitted by Mass Club. Can you go in and make that approval or review? And on, on finance things, you will not actually be approving the finance piece. You're going to go to that blue button up there at the top where it says change stage. stage. And you're basically going to move it from advisor approval to student activities departmental approval. So basically that moves it to us. And when, once you move that, that request to our office, that's telling us if they want to come to our office and check out a credit card to go make a payment, that you're okay with it, and um, as long as we're okay with it, then we'll give them a card and let them go make that purchase. And it also helps you uh, with knowing 
how much money is in your account. Because a lot of times organizations will put in a purchase request to come and check out a car for to spend fifty dollars at Walmart, but they only have ten bucks in their account. <laughs> There's no way we can make that happen. Is there any so, way we can check our, our balances on here? Mm -hmm. Oh really? Where? You know, you know that. Go to finance, just click on the So yeah, in order for them to come and check out a car or for us to uh, create a check for reimbursement, we need your approval, which is you going in and changing the stage uh, to that request. Um, Derek, <coughs> if, we have, if, we, if our organization wants to do a, a fundraiser, do we have to submit something that tells us, tells somebody what we're going to use the money for? Do we have to have like a plan of what we want the fundraiser for? Or can we just do the fundraiser so that we have money for future whatever we want to do? You just submit the event form if you want to include why you're having the fundraiser. Well, we don't have to be the same No, you don't have to. I mean, a lot of organizations, they're just they're doing they just, fundraisers just so they have it when they need it. Okay, so. thanks. Sometimes they're doing fundraisers for what they can do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. And I just got a, a phone call today from Fuddworkers asking me to, if I can send out a flyer for them to organizations because they want to do profit chairs with the schools. So does Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A would like to know. So I'm going to, we're going to send that out to the um, So this, this wheelhouse tips, I know with students, when we're asking them to do all these forms on wheelhouse, and, and they make a big deal, it's so hard, it's complicated. But for us as advisors, when we have this right here at our hands, at our fingertips, to know how to go in and approve certain things and to walk it through, I think it'll make uh, life a lot easier for your organization and for us. So just to be able to help them navigate this website or this, uh, this page, it will be helpful. And one thing I do tell the student organization officers about the, the fact that you do not get a notification about finance requests. So I have told them that <coughs> you put in a finance request, make sure you tell your advisor to go in and, and do that, um, you know, to, change, to review it and change the stage on it. Otherwise, they will not know. So hopefully they will be telling you when those things are coming in. So hopefully you won't have to constantly go in and check. Is there any restrictions on membership to the organizations? For example, can graduate students? Uh, it's up to their constitution, but there shouldn't. Like the university doesn't have any restrictions as far as grad students. They they have to have some. Typically, need to have some sort of affiliation with the university. Yeah. Um, if they are not affiliated with the university, typically our ruling is if there's not something already in the community that they can get involved with that's similar then we might allow community members to join, but um, they are really supposed to be university. Okay. Um, it becomes a little problematic system. because so many organizations allow student fees. So if you've got somebody in the community that's wanting to go on a trip that's being subsidized by student fees, that's where it gets a little great. But with grad students and, and undergrad, no problem at all. Okay. We, we do have uh, community groups that have students here. They have uh, organizations, and it's tied to that uh, community group. But it's still all ran by students here on campus. Okay, so if the organization is taking a trip to the Science Museum and there is a member of the organization who's a non-traditional student who has a child, can the can like the student bring his or her children, child or children on that trip? That as long as it doesn't cost the organization any extra money? I mean, is that allowed? It's up to your organization. If you okay. want to use your funds to pay for that student's child to come on the trip. But I mean, there's no university rule that says you can't bring your children no, on a I think you university want to make sure that trip. They, there's a waiver sign for them just like there is any other member going on the trip. Okay. With the parent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the kid okay. can sign it. <laughs> but that parent would have to sign which was the child as well. Okay. So you could bring your kid five. <laughs> it's, the advisor is not responsible for the budget, and we're not treasurers, right? So it's no, so if so if 
the groups after something that, I mean, we're not having to check their treasury. Or if they go negative, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know I have no money. <laughs> $2,500, this is great, and their entire year is spending at $2,500. Well, then the next year, it's like the person starting to scratch. So you want to have that. Let's let's really think about what our, our year's activities are going to be. What are things going to cost? Let's try and raise some money for that when we're constantly putting money into the for the next one, for the next organization. So that's kind of the, the advising that you have. Ideally, they would start, or they would end the year at or above where they start. So that's that the next goal. year can function. Sure. Any other questions about accounts, about purchase requests, about event requests, or funding requests? Let's have a great year, guys. October 22nd from 10 to 2. Okay, what's going to do? There was going to be a project.